Okay, so this is my um, next entry in the series of Disney themed birdhouses. I bought this one from a like a Goodwill and it had this really really horrible like floral old lady type design on the outside of it and I gessoed over it and thought that I'd done, done enough coats and turned out when I started painting the red that no had not done enough and you can still see some of that um, design coming through so I reevaluated and decided you know what I think I need to put some more gesso on this so I got out my big canister of gesso and just did a couple more layers to help build it up so that you wouldn't see that like awful floral design because it wasn't just like a flat painted design it, it was painted with like acrylic paints and it was kind of like texturized so you could really see it quite badly actually so um this is just me putting on some white more coats of white this is not very interesting um i will be doing more of this series um so i'll be doing some other birdhouses let me know in the comments below uh what kind of birdhouses you would like to see and maybe i will do them if i feel especially inspired so i've done one coat so i did like two before and then another two so like a total of like four coats of gesso on this thing so that's the only bad thing about when i find these birdhouses out in the wild is that um, I have to deal with sometimes not an ideal surface to paint on but I also do kind of like the challenge too because it makes me have to really like problem solve and figure out what I'm gonna do so I don't know it's got its pros and cons I suppose plus I get I think I get more like original designs okay so because this is Lilo and Stitch I'm doing the leaf designs that Lilo has on her dress um, and I'm actually just using the white of the gesso to create the white of the leaf and um, all I'm doing is I'm just painting the red part so I'm basically like I don't know it's kind of weird like painting the negative image I guess I, I don't know it's weird um, I really liked how it turned out, except I really, really hate the leaf I'm painting right now. Like, I hate that leaf. I do not like that leaf. It is a poor placement. I don't know why when I was doing it. I thought that was an okay spot to put that. It's also smaller than, like, the rest of the leaves. It's a weird leaf. And of all places, of course, it's on the front. So I'm not super thrilled about that. But in the end, I did think, I was like, what if I just, like painted over it and I thought about it and I kind of thought that it was more trouble than it was worth like I hate it but I don't think it's like I don't think most people when they see it are gonna be like this is disgusting so I just ended up leaving it um but yeah I like it it's pretty simple um straightforward design it wasn't anything too crazy which was good um but I like those little leaves <laughs> I just used acrylic paint for this. That's what I usually do on these birdhouses is just like gesso and acrylic paint. Um, it's nothing f super fancy. It is the cheap acrylic paint from the craft store. Nothing crazy. So, you know, like anybody could do this if they wanted to. It's very uh, beginner friendly, basically. So I ended up having to do two coats here because uh, one coat obviously just was not going to cut it. So I did the one coat and it, thankfully I kind of did this all in one sitting because once I was finished with one side and went to another side, by the time I was finished with the second side, it was dry on the first. So I could just kind of like work in the round and then once I came back to the side I had started on, I was able to just go ahead and continue and do a second coat.
Okay, so now that I have the leaves, the body of the birdhouse done, um, I kind of thought the roof was the perfect color for Stitch. It was just like the perfect shade of blue, except I felt like it was missing something. So what I did is I looked up a picture of Stitch and I remembered the markings that are on like the back of his head that go down his back. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a blobby shape to be totally honest. And I mixed a darker shade of blue because that's what the color is on Lilo's back or on Lilo's on Stitch's back. And then I just painted that kind of blobby shape that is on the back of his head and neck on the back of the birdhouse to make it look a little bit more like Stitch. It was really hard trying to paint this because it is like perfectly symmetrical, the design is. So it was really hard, especially trying to make it symmetrical and doing it on an angled birdhouse. So like there is some weird perspective stuff that is happening that is makes it like extra difficult. So that part was a little challenging, but overall I think it turned out really, really well. So I honestly, overall, I really liked this birdhouse. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing this and it inspires you to make your own themed birdhouses. You know, doesn't have to be Disney themed. It could be video game themed. It could be just stuff that you like. It doesn't have to be themed at all. You could just decorate some birdhouses with stuff you like. I don't know. Make stuff is the point. So I just used my heat gun here to um, quick dry it because I really, really wanted to like, I, I like sitting down and doing things if I can, like all in one sitting. I don't like leaving it to dry and then coming back a couple hours later because it's like, I'm never in like the same mood or headspace. So the tools that can make it easier for me to sit down and complete a project from beginning to end are tools that I like. So things like my heat gun that can help me quickly dry stuff. It is only usable on certain materials, you know, like obviously if you had a squishy or something that you wanted to dry, yeah, you can't use a heat gun on foam. That would be bad and probably cause a fire. Don't do that. Also, just don't use a heat gun without like your parents if you're a kid. Um, adults, just be smart. Like, think about it. Mm, what is extreme heat gonna do the, to this thing? And if you're not sure, maybe don't use it. Just be careful, okay? Be careful. Um, anyway, so I'm just finishing up the birdhouse and then you will see the completed thing um, in the next shot. Uh, I just wanna say, if you like what I make, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It me would mean a ton to me right now um, because my channel is new and small. It's a baby. Uh, also, if you like this, uh, comment below. Let me know. If you don't like this, comment below. Tell me what you would like to see. I'm all game for ideas. So just get, shoot me some comments. I am listening and I read all of them. So here's the birdhouse completed. I think it turned out really well. I love it. I think it's super cute, except for that dumb leaf. So dumb. Dumb little leaf. Otherwise, I think it's real cute. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, next one is on Monday. Next Monday. Enjoy. Have a wonderful day.